A man gunned down just steps from his front door. Police say the suspect is armed, dangerous, and on the loose. Good evening, I'm David Scott. This happened around 1 o'clock this morning at the Wood Apartment on East Wansley Drive. That's in North Austin. KXN's Jacqueline Inglaze is at the scene right now. Jackie, you talked to neighbors who said crime is quite common there, huh? David, neighbors told me that crime like prostitution and drugs run rampant in their community, but tonight they're dealing with a completely different problem. A man has been killed here. If you go ahead and take a look into the corridor of this apartment building, you'll see that a candlelight vigil is going on. On there, they've set up an altar with candles, a picture of the victim, and they're saying the rosary in Spanish about halfway through. Michael Maynez and Lauren Kleinfelter are not surprised to hear Austin's 21st homicide happen in their neighborhood. People die around here all the time. Just, it's a real bad, it's, it's, it's a bad neighborhood. If you're, if you're from around here, you know, you know, it's, it's a bad neighborhood. Killing somebody for what they have that's yours or what you think is yours, it's, it's kind of typical and common here. 29-year-old Franklin Espinales, who lived in this apartment, died from a gunshot not far from his front door. Police say another man pulled a gun, shot him, and fled. Neighbors told KXAN a noisy party was going on at the time, a common occurrence. You can walk down from 6 in the morning to 6 at night to all hours of whatever time of the day, and there's people who smoke crack, people who are just walking around smoking weed. Feinfelter has called this part of North Austin home for 22 years, but she won't let her 3-year-old son she has with Menez live there. Both are looking to move and make a better life. There's been incidents where I have seen crack pipes or, you know, little blunt roaches or whatever it may be around here. So it's not somewhere where I would say you would want your kids necessarily to, to play at. But with the gunmen still on the loose, Kleinfelter and Menes have more to worry about than drugs and prostitutes in their neighborhood. They know a killer who police call armed and dangerous could be lurking around the corner. It's a little nerve-wracking now because I was going to have my son come over today, but that's a little, that's a little creepy. There's no motive yet for this killing, but there is a description of the shooter. He's described as a black male with a heavy build, weighing between 200 and 220 pounds, about five and a half feet tall. He has gold teeth and a short afro. Now, again, police consider this man to be armed and dangerous. There was one who sees him. One live in Austin, Jackson, KXAN, Austin News.